Welcome back, everyone here. Train starting now. Team preparation versus flip side tactics. It was uh, some some wreckage there on cash. Flip side having a great game, winning 16-6. Preparation moving over to train. We think it's going to be even more difficult, but at least they will get the start here on the CT side. So that could go a long way in uh, starting them off with some momentum, perhaps. Ooh, the Ivy push. And it looks like it's going to be dry, too. They're going to hear this run through Ivy. And it's going to be flip side to decide how to respond. Playing it very, very passively. And it looks like Markolov... Oh! Responded. Yeah. First responder here. Bonding and Markolov now going to try to take this 2v2, but Markolov goes down. And now it's just Bonding in kind of a bad spot as Kadian gets a couple of people outside. Bomb has very little chance to be planted now in this situation. Four players up for preparation as Blade. The IGL of flip side. Needs to try to find not only the bomb, but Four kills. Yeah, I don't think he realized quite where it was. Uh, I think he was going off a radar. You saw him run up to the back of that train and like hop. Like, can I pick it up, please? And actually would have had a plant because no one was outside, but didn't realize where the bomb was. And then everyone else makes their way. He's able to grab what one frag there for his troubles. Mm -hmm. I think he brought down Wenton, but that'll be preparation. That's exactly how they needed to start off on the CT side, winning that pistol and can maybe get a pretty good half out of this now. Yeah, I think it was like a semi-hard call out there, sending three IV and then two to Z, uh, to because they expected flip side to just go ahead and take outer, and they were right about that, or at least go for IV control first, which they got control of. Markov opened up that round, but flips or preparation against all odds managed to win the round in spite of that per skill. Oh, blade second kill. The Juan Diggs coming out. Suddenly, man advantage now for flip side. You still got to favor preparation on the round, but it's got a bit dicey. And Markolov is now starting to hunt with his eagles. Hearing the footsteps and a perfect shot onto Crystal. Went in also outside, but now he's been spotted. Didn't come away with that frag maybe as quick as he needed to, but will make the push in. Markolov missing that eagle shot. And now it's up to Wenton and Lomi as they uh, oops, spotting another man back there at ladder. Doesn't realize that Bondic is maybe there. Who's going to move up with the bomb and get that plant down? Uh, Lomi's made an extremely fast flank, which is really good by him. But oh, we'll be spotted. Blade, though, doesn't find the third frag of the round. And the bomb is on the opposite side of the bo bomb train now. Bondic, with just the deagle, gets killed in the back by Wenton. Really nice by him to stay alive. And nice quick flank by Lomi, but uh, almost a, a very, very uh, good round by Flipside, who started out getting two kills with that deagle. I mean, honestly, it's it still was, right? They didn't even buy down to, like, the 50 or $100 that you might expect when the terrorists go for a force-up. They plant the bomb again, so money is good. And they also killed three members of team preparation. So look how, you know, the economy is not great. Two players at 3500 Kadian with slightly more. And I think some drops will come across, so they might not have to buy all the way down to broke. But, you know, the money was somewhat limited there in round two. Yeah. Now, I mean, at least preparation have a little bit of peace of mind going into this round that uh, it's only going to be something like a half buy because Flipside like got the plant. They have very little incentive to try and buy up once again. And that's why Kadian is going to have the MP9 inner and does get the opening frag for free, taking no damage as well. Oh, how aggressive do they want to be? They want to funnel as many kills as they can into Kadian because he's going to get the most amount of money for it. Lummy, though, getting in on the action finds a second frag. Yeah, kind of covering Kadian's back there from uh, the overtop of the stairs. That's Kadian pushed up, was able to come away with two. So Bondic and Blade have the Deagles again. They're once again looking for those one Deags. This time they don't find anything, and you kind of touched on it, but that's the round where they are going against just a full eco, and they don't have a lot to worry about. So five members staying alive now. Gets preparation into, into a position where now they could actually lose this rifle round and, and still be able to strike back in round five. Kadian's going to pick up that op. We saw him be very pretty proficient with it. I mean, they didn't have a great half in the first half of cash, but yeah, I think he was still getting a lot of kills with his op, and he is going to be integral on this map as well. And it looks like he's gonna, they're going to put it solo inner, leaving a lot of uh, a lot of pressure, onus on him to try to get that first kill. Doesn't actually know if someone has crossed crossed upper off of that flash, but I think he's pretty confident that that flash was just. Uh, Something that flip side do is a, a preliminary precaution. The redundant statement. <laughs> <But> <laughs> there you go. 
Better safe than sorry, am I right? So Lomi actually, without seeing anything, left that bomb train outside and rotated to inner to help out Kadian, who had a very aggressive angle held with that op on lower ramp. He was solo. Now he'll go back up. He's peeking into the box halls, trying to make that informational play, but he will spot nothing, and that can maybe give them an indication it's going to be outside, and if it didn't, the world edit certainly has. And now Shara getting in on the action. Crystal and Wenton have already fallen. Avalotov goes down a little too late, but I suppose it at least is good for the trade. Markolov burns alive. But has done the damage. And Kadian and Lomi trying to retake from Z Connector. The smoke wasn't great, but it was good enough. The bomb goes down and it, it will dissuade them from going for this. Yeah, for good reason. It's too hard to win a after plan outside. I mean, 2v2 is hard enough as it is, but 4v2, don't even think about it. Um, unless you're rain. And, uh. Yeah, is that, is that still your favorite player? Um, or was it ever? It was, yeah, Green was, definitely. He's up there. I, favorite players, I'm, I'm kind of fickle with favorite players, but... It's hard to, hard to choose, there's so many. And it just goes month by month, you know? But, uh, Preparation not able to save anything. They do have five grand on four players, however, so they're going to be buying again. They're also, they're also going to be buying up ops. Gideon opting to get half armor and uh, a couple of nades, so not too bad. And the Lace is going to be the man to eat. Uh, the loss is the, the hardest. Of anyone that round. And uh, this time instead they're going to have Kadian with the op at, at Ivy by himself to look for the first frag. Now because they're low on nades, you want to find the first frag like as soon as possible. Because if you get a kill with the op, you're knocking down um, all the uh, ooh, all the equipment value. Lome actually might have a couple of enemies coming his way. Bogey, bogey spotted. Actually not spotted, but... Yeah, not quite. Maybe that's like a really good angle. Yeah, they like it, right? Kadian was there with his op on the round previous, and then this time he's gone over to Ivy for more of a presence there, but they'll make sure that Lomi is in her and playing uh, close up on that ramp. Seems to be a spot where you will certainly come away with at least one frag, or you would expect to, and you'll get that information really early. Yeah. And the rotations from Z and maybe CT Sky or the A bomb site can uh, come in a little bit quicker. Yeah, it smokes. Couple of sm one smoke coming outside. Will they have a split going on? They don't have IV control in this situation, so I think this favors slow preparation. Yeah, two smokes going outside, so they are absolutely trying to sell a fake right now. They've not gone down ladder. It was smoked out anyway as a response by preparation when they saw that telegraph take. Flip side. Oh, Blade outside. Maybe selling it, though. Does get a kill on to Wenton, but I think they've seen enough inside. Maybe they've seen too much because they're starting to get picked off. Bondic with a sick second shot onto Crystal. And as he continues to push forward to buy some space for this post plant, he just makes them pay. He kills everybody. Wow. I mean, it can be. I can just imagine how frustrating it is on that round where you just have so much going on. You've got, you know, IV control maintained. The outer split looks like it's. It looks like it's about to be an, uh, an outer split as the smoke comes over over top. And you're like, all right, I'm an IV. You know, no one can come behind us, and we've got four players outside. And then flip side hit inner with such a well coordinated take that it's just so frustrating. I think as a CT to have to deal with. And now just have no money. And there's there's flip sides showing us why they're so good on T side. That was a really good round. Uh, you know, if you want to look at that, if that's the kind of round that you want to watch in a demo and see, like that's how you win around five v five on T side, uh, train. If you think you can pull the other team into playing one inner. And now we've seen World Edit able to pull out the op, and he was absolutely so devastating with that weapon over on Cash. Granted, it was on the CT side. But I imagine he'll be really, really dangerous and Bondi coming away with another 3k. This one, though, counted for less. He just hits everyone one by one as they try to come down that ladder. And, of course, that was a full eco for preparation. But Flipside have tied it up. A lot of threes. Three threes on the top bar. Uh, is, that, is that a Half-Life 3 confirmed moment there, Launders? I don't believe it's ever coming out at this point, so <laughs> I'm not going to get excited. All right, way to, way to, way to kill the hype. Sorry, man. It's just uh, my my hopes are my hopes are low. Well, Lomi's gonna be pushing up inner, and it looks like he is gonna be the solo man air most of the time, unless they want to put the op there. But I think he's on some kind of a, ooh, not quite a fast flank. Just has these angles that he likes to hold that are slightly passive. But if anyone tries to take a peek, he might be able to get a kill. And it looks like they're gonna avoid him. But if they don't get to get control of up, upper, he has a really good spot. I mean, oh, they spotted him. And dealt with him, and that is their answer. 
We've actually seen so many rounds where that player on the upper catwalk goes unnoticed because the terrorists went through the, the lower ramp and then they've been in a position to win the round. So the fact that Shara has the presence of mind to still check that, mm -hmm. I mean, might have ultimately secured this. It's still a four on four retake, so there's a chance, but there's almost no utility on preparation and there's no kit. So they're going to have a really, really hard time moving forward and Markov and wow. Shara are uh, actually, it was Bondic there. They're just murdering everybody up in here. Just this, just this shooting gallery from flip side. Once they set up and, and got that kill inner, and that's there's so much pressure on your inner guy and like to to be able to get a kill. And I don't think I mean they even had the nade come out upper. So I think once they they knew that no one was there, that he was almost certainly upper. That's actually an interesting way of isolating him. Like typically that's a really great after plant spot to have. And as your solo guy to stay alive that long while the bomb goes down, that could be good. And he took a fairly passive angle coming back in for the retake. Maybe just wanted to stop the plant, but they were just fully aware of what he was gonna do. Oh my gosh, preparation. They're like insects, and World Edit is like one of those blue lights because they are all just trying to run at him and bring down the op, and then... Uh, or no, sorry, it was Markalov uh, that was causing them trouble over there at middle. Either way, they're just chasing into T-Con, and someone comes out of ladder and kills them all. And you might, like, you know not think too hard about that round i mean obviously it's hard to get kills in the first place with pistols but because flipside didn't lose a single person they have so much money i mean we've got three players the other two players basically everyone if you average it out as as 10k and and preparation are on you know buy safe buy safe situation with half armor so i think uh you know if Loma keeps getting pressured and neutralized that uh, you know flipside are going to be able to get uh, preparation to play a 2-3 really quickly and then go for an outer split if they so desire. Blade, I think just missing Kadian will post up and hold the angle. Uh, That's a vac. Yeah, dude. I think they might have spotted each other right when he was crossing, and then he posts up that at that angle right before the smoke goes down, and then the smoke is there, and he kind of just takes that shot, expecting a player to cross or maybe even set up for the same angle and spam. But Blade getting one through the smoke, that is a... Got to be a terrible feeling for Kadian to have given up a first kill in a round like that. Feels bad, man. It really does. Now, everyone's moving towards inner once again i know they've, they've taken advantage of Alome here in the past and this he's actually moved into a rotator spot and now his back pop which is kind of the most predictable spot to be in but also a really good one because it's easy to stay alive now they have spotted him he's going to throw a molly but players are crossing and does avoid the op of world edit oh glazen potentially such a good spot holding out on the back of the train waiting for someone to come to him and then moving forward he only comes away with the one kill so flip side again bomb going down on inner three versus two and you've got Markalov still lurking over at Ivy, and he's actually keeping Crystal somewhat at bay. And I think Wenton will win out there. Yes, he does. Um, so Markalov was, you know, he was that lurker that wasn't needed, so he kind of just immediately went on the hunt to uh, bring down the members of preparation trying to save guns. Didn't work uh, out, though. You know, poor Lome is actually just uh, honestly getting destroyed in her. Uh, a huge reason why they aren't able to win rounds. Like... I mean, it's it's been difficult for him. I mean, I can imagine what flip side, uh, team like Flipside execute on you for you to put yourself in a good position and stay alive and actually get kills as well. I think we've even seen him like play upper in that in that previous round really well, but then still still get neutralized, like spotted, isolated, and and killed without getting a kill. And in that situation, just went to the pop dog, tried to stay alive once again, but Flipside just too explosive, and that's the key for them on T side. Um, for them to be able to win rounds. Now, Kadian has to be able to find a way to make his op a little bit more useful. I feel like he needs to be a little bit more aggressive, either go for a pick, like, all the way down IV, or uh, push up and, and try to get the opening as soon as possible. Because as long as preparation are low on nades, they have to they have to get a flip side into a position where they're more uncomfortable and feel like they have to execute right away. And that's when the informational advantage will go to preparation. But if they have low nades, they can't just sit back and smoke things off because they can't do that all around. Yeah, and we'll look, look at this big, somewhat aggressive outer stack for preparation outside. Take a bird's eye view. They were all pushed up to E-Box, Red Train. Wow. They have since fallen back to CT Hall and are now making that rotation because World Edit off the upper catwalk has once again brought down Lome. Having a, having a hard time, but, I mean, that is the life of that solo B-Site player, right? Yeah. I mean, if you see a great solo B-Site player, they just... They just win rounds for you, and it's hard to hard to explain why, just because their positioning is so good. Their micromanagement 
in those situations. And here we have a 4v4 after plant. Good favor the CT, depending on if they get this kill, I know if Blaze actually goes down immediately. Right now it's just Crystal looking for the spray. What? 1v3, 2 HP, and just dodging pistol bullets, but can't dodge them all. World Edit gets three kills, and once again, Loman goes down. World Edit ops him at upper, and that was the angle that we saw him holding on a previous round. Obviously not uh, a perfect angle, and World Edit, I mean, some people might come out scoped, you know, with good crosshair placement when you take an off angle. What you want to do with the rifle is put yourself in a position where if an op tries to clear it, they don't immediately pre-aim you, but World Edit cleared the off angle first, so didn't try to peek across upper right away, instead took his time, and that's why Lome got killed immediately. But now he's running out of spots to play, I mean, he's just got to be, got to be in a... Uh, you gotta be scared, you know. I feel like Flipside are in his hand at this point. That's why they've mixed it up. Lomi's actually now playing outside. Still, they'll put him with less support because his preparation have put three people inside and are going for a boost. And I think they're doing so quietly. That's... Oh, oh. man. Bondic wow. was thinking something was going to happen. He was kind of peeking that with the intention to look down onto the ground, but somehow still comes away with the frag. Realizes a boost must have happened. Gets one more out of it, and now it's just Wenton. Popping away here, maybe gonna hit the showers. In spite of that info, I have no idea how Bondic got that kill. Like you, like yeah. he came out. That was the exact off angle situation that I was talking about, where somebody's pre aiming you your corner, and then you come around the corner, uh, pre aiming past them, and he just flicks over yeah, and pre aiming and at kill. their feet. <laughs> pre aiming at their feet. Still yeah. hits them in the face. Exactly. So I was surprised to see that happen. Well, I mean, at least, at <laughs> least. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's a flash. That pop flash, yeah. <laughs> Off the glass. So it goes like Through the 50%. Plant. Um, less far, and then it just pops right in your face. Perfect for that angle. That's funny. Can we just reflect on how how hard you would have to throw a flashbang to shatter an entire window that size? Yeah, that's a good point. Like, there's no way that... I mean... Maybe it's cheap glass. True. I feel like you saw the hole it pretty hard though. In, in Soviet Union, gla glass breaks you. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh man. Preparation, I mean, they started out kind of strong, I suppose, and then flip side just eight rounds in a row on T side. Oh, Lomi! Ah, coming away with one kill. Hadian. Bomb. Oh man, how is he gonna play this? You know, you might think he has options. He'll probably get this, be able to get this first kill, no problem. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, Shara will get the first kill, no problems. Obviously, what I meant to say. They're actually so aware on T side. The flip side, they when they they come out to trade, it's like it. It kind of looks like a regular execute, but they're so explosive and they're always. I don't know. Their communication must be just super sick. They are. They're always watching each other's backs and um, are fully aware of flanks at all times. So. They almost never get caught off guard. It didn't help that when he went for that peak, he like didn't have the angle and completely showed his CZ first. So it did actually give uh, quite a bit of time for that player to react, uh, for Shara to see that and hit the shot mm. as, dang, pre-nade coming in, lands on Kadian, then he's tagged up, slowed down, Markolov kills him, no problem. Blade, I think, was that shot actually, the shots were missed outside. He got peeked into it, I think he had smoke in his hand. Somehow still alive, but here's Bondic going back into inner, finding Lome, trying to get that spray control. It's not quite there. Nade across. That'll bring him down real low. Red HP, oh. but he will not be saved. Shara with the nade brings down Lomi. Then Glace finds Bondic. Oh, look at this, though. Markolov just can catch rotators, and all they have to do is wait for him to get the first kill. I mean, he can cross that side if he wants to. Oh, they they mollied out Z as well. And they know that players have rotated inner, so Markolov to find the rotator frag, and now it's Crystal in a 1v2. I can almost be certain that he's coming through Z, and he just has so much work to do here. So many bomb trains to work around in a, in a 1v2, and oh, can't find the first frag. Blade takes him down, and it seemed like preparation. We're starting to get a handle on that round, but lost it very quickly. 16k on every single player on flip side. I love that. Dang. Two mag sevens in the hands of preparation, who are just trying to put together, surmise whatever CT half they can. Yeah, well, that'll that'll pr put them in, you know, force buying here in round 14. I mean, still s somewhat strong, actually. Like, the Mag-7s, they can find positions on a map like Train, especially on the CT side. To be dangerous, but money is low. 
So if they lose this one, even if they win this one and it's not convincing, they're round 15 by. The last round of the first half will be pretty minimal. They got, they got both Mag 7s in her. I like uh, it. On this lower of the ramp, yeah. They're just going to tether off each other, I think. All right, Crystal will get aggressive with a flash into T-Con. Flash itself wasn't effective, but maybe took Blade's attention for a moment. So he'll go down, and the Mag 7s, they fall without really doing anything. It looks like Shara took a lot of damage, but Bondic healthy. And we've seen how good he has been once he starts trying to make this space, pushing forward in this inner bomb site, just murdering people. And Crystal, too aware. <laughs> Bonic looks like a fool as he steps off that ladder, but now it's World Edit with the op coming alive. Glaze has made a lot of ground up here, pushing on that fuel tanker. Two quick headshots for him, and now all onto Markalov. And smoke was already there, so instantly it is extinguished. Doesn't know if this player's on the bomb. And okay, now he does. Spots Glaze. Oh, expecting the player wants to go back in for the tap. I believe Markalov saw him again. And the ladder. One dig. One dig to the chest. Wow, oh, that's rough. Glaze just had a nice round, and they almost came in for the retake, and Markalov wins that 1v2. I mean, what can you say? You just, you, gotta, you gotta win those. You really gotta win those! So, there's no other way to put it. You know, you have the, the 1v2 situation, and sometimes you just gotta hit shots um, in terms of how, how well you can play around. You can talk so much about what you can do tactically, but in those you know, 1v2s, 1vx situations, it's like, you don't, you don't protect your teammate in the 1v2, it's like you're gonna lose the round, so... And Mark Love will always take those if you give them to him. Yeah, I mean, the Glaze had pushed forward, right? He was the player to tap that bomb. It was the person back at Z, on the Z train yeah. that was was protecting him, but just got obliterated from such long range. I mean, there was some pretty sick shots there. Yep. <laughs> There's 12-3 12 12 half three. T side. So fast, too. Like, I mean, you know, typically, like, flip side, I think, the harder it gets for them, the longer they take to play out the rounds. Like, they really believe the round timer that you should use all of it since it's given to you. And, and uh, I just didn't have to. They uh, were able to, in the first 40 seconds, find an opening kill, get whatever map control they wanted to, and when they would hit something, even in a 4v4, uh, be able to trade out so efficiently, win all their after plants. And preparation on in this half at a 3-0 start, and, and it's, you know, solely because of the pistol. Beyond that, had, you know, basically no chance. Yeah, that, that hurts. And, you know, the, the half looked a little bit better just because preparation started off with three rounds. So immediately that, that already looks better to anyone just tuning in, not seeing 9-0, 10-0, 10-1, or whatever it got to. 9-1 um, was the worst, or 9-0 was the worst that it was on cash. But ultimately this half is even worse than the first half of cash because they get three on the board, which is the same score line, but that was pistol, two anti-ecos, Every single rifle round, every single chance that team preparation had, they lost it. And some of them there at the end were actually pretty close. Yeah. But that, that's got to hurt. And yeah. you kind of set yourself up when you name yourself team preparation because everyone has been spamming that they should have prepared more. <laughs> 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 and Flipside's in the same boat. Like, you have tactics in your name. If your T-side's not working, like, you're going to get ripped apart by the, by the very savage internet. Yeah. Right now, it's team penetration. Whereas team pepper preparation, <laughs> <laughs> preparation couldn't hold, so. Yeah, they'll be needing a uh, certain medicinal product sold here in the United States. Ends with an H. Starts with a preparation. <laughs> <laughs> I could also see, like, prep preparonies or something. Seems fun. Joking aside, though, I, I found their Twitter. I wanted, I didn't tweet at them. I felt bad, and then they retweeted it, which made me feel even worse. But it's at Prep Gaming, and they could uh, certainly use some love. So at Prep Gaming on Twitter, then of course at Flipside Tactics uh, for both of these teams. Make for sure to follow and support them as we go into the second half. Flipside now, um, ultimately on the easier side of things, and a pistol round starting off great because Markov making a pay for it here at Ivy. Gets two, will be brought down. Now World Edit at the Z connector. Taking some shots on the crystal. Oh, there he goes. Comes away with that. Uh, well, I can't really call that one a one tap, but gets the headshot. World Edit now moving forward. Getting close and personal to the Glock. Still winning out over Katie. And Glaze finds one more. But flip side, take the pistol. And now things could be spiraling out of control. Yeah. If they weren't already. Uh, if they weren't already, this is the definitely, I'd say, the nail in the coffin for them. Preparation and have very little to work with are going to be buying up. 
And once again, you know, just to re reiterate, once you buy on this round, you don't have a buy for the rest of the half. You don't have a good buy unless they get two plants, which I guess there's potential for that. But uh, flip side, all they have to do is hit heads right now, and they have such an advantage economically that it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Shara, well, the solo man inner. Getting the plant shouldn't be too hard, right? Like, train is very CT sided, but it is probably the round where terrorists uh, plant the bomb the most, or the map where terrorists plant the bomb the most on, yeah. on Ecos, right? Just because of the nature of the inner bomb site. Yeah, the bomb the bomb spot being so close, so easy to get to. But they no are going IUV, which could be a problem, which could also result in no bomb plant, as they're trying to play to win this round, not just get money. Yeah, they did have, like, just kind of a janky ace uh, going that's on. Not good. They flashed themselves. Congratulations. It's up to Lomi now with his Deagle. Not able to spot anything yet. He hears those players, and I'm sure the call-outs have come. They've got a man back at Green Train. Uh, that was Glaze, who falls a little bit before Lomi, and they're both taken down. So 14-3 to three in preparation. Well, probably not long for this world. Yeah. What was that? What was what? Probably not long for this world. Yeah. Means they're gonna die soon. Okay. At least I think it does. I don't know. I I, I said that all the time in Dota. Oh really? People are getting it. ganked. Makes sense. I don't know if it's actually a thing. I'm gonna look it up. Went and I actually opted not to buy a PT50. You know, it's money 2K. I mean, it makes sense if you want to be able to buy next round, but PT50 significantly better than Glock. Did Mark actually see this? I think he spotted one of, one of the smoke. That was Glace. Cross IV, and once again, four players IV. They're still jump spotting over the smoke, but not actually finding anyone. And I think they're just gonna hit him with the, the triple peak. I want to say left and right the side. The triple peak. That'd be hype. The quad peak, man. At this oh. rate. Oh. And ex they're gonna explode now. Blade gonna have to pick up the brunt of the load here. Or get diffused. What is it? Looks good so far. And there's the blender. Preparation, finding one kill, that's Crystal. And he goes <laughs> down, and now it's a match point. We're all dead it. Spraying through all the angles there. As and they're getting... Fires. They're getting the, the Corporation. <laughs> as one of my fa uh, favorite Smash commentators says. Oh, okay, not, sorry, not I didn't business. get it. Not the business, not the business. The Corporation? The Corporation. I like that. So this is, well, where team preparation really have to make their stand. It's the best funded round they have had yet here on the T side. And once again, we'll kind of work a, a default. They've got Lomi and Glace. The, the boys at Ivy have, have so far not come up with all that much. And on the inner halls, it'll be Wenton and Crystal with Kadian moving in and out between. I think he's in T-Con. Oh, man, no. It looks like I can just run the same thing over and over again. It's going to be on preparation to try to find a way to open up the round, and there's World Edit to find his kill. Just been such a good offer in the yeah. series. Honestly, everyone for Flipside has been playing pretty uh, standout. Uh, yeah. Bondic specifically, and I think World Edit as well, have been the biggest two. But Shara's had some moments. Blade's been good as well on cash. Markov didn't have to do much on cash, but he's been pretty good here on train. And Bondic moving up the, the thin side of Old Bomb finds Glace. Now over to the bigger side. Lome will bring him down. And it's up to Lome and Wenton. Wenton X actually in inner, pushing through CT, trying to group up with Lome uh, from behind here, as he will find another run to Blade. Oh no, Wenton actually went over to the Z connector, so there is someone creeping up. That's World Edit from CT. Oh man, and he'll go down. Wenton was checking ladder because he knew Lome was to his right, but World Edit strikes at the perfect time, and that is 16 to 3. Good game. I mean, preparation won a pistol and two anti ecos, and then flipside won the other pistol. They won three. Actually, they split pistols, so they won two pistols in total. They didn't win both pistols on cash, did they? Actually, they did. It was preparation actually won a few rifle rounds in the first half. But yeah. so flipside three pistols, uh, just solid performance on T side of train. What can you say? Pretty much outclassed preparation. Um, yeah, I think I had a little bit of hope for them on cash, where they were able to win their their rifle rounds, but. I think even if they went to a third map, it would have only got harder for them. So, what more is there to say? Well played by, by flip side. Yeah. Well, we weren't wrong, right? We said that cash would be a little more competitive, and even though the scoreline is dominant for flip side, 
you already touched on it. It, it was all rifle rounds that were converted into to Ws over on cash. Here on train, they literally got a pistol and two anti-ecos and absolutely nothing else. Yeah. Um, so that, w- that was rough. And they started on the CT side, so it, w- it was ultra rough, I think. So flip side, Dominant 2-0. They will move on to play Ents here in the bracket. And I don't know if the bracket will quite be updated yet, but we'll show it real quick. Actually, before we do... Uh, eight first kills for World Edit, and it was, wow. I think, about eight or somewhere close to that for uh, Bondic over on Cash. So just so many first kills for Flipside. Kind of insane. But taking a look at the brackets, yeah, it hasn't been filled in yet, but you see that Ents beat Penta 2-0. Flipside will move on to face them. And it is a single elimination bracket, all best of threes all the way through. Team that wins the bracket will qualify uh, for the LAN in London at the Gfinity Arena, and then there will be uh, uh, two more brackets after this, so four in each region, and that will mean eight teams, four from North America and or South America, and uh, four from Europe at the Land Finals. And with that, we are done for the day. Hopefully you've had a good time here. Um, I, for one, pretty pretty thankful to have a quick day, so th- thank you for that flip side. Uh, but I'm Helium. You can get me on Twitter, at Heliumbrella and, sh- and Shroud. <laughs> <laughs> Where can the people find you? Uh, at Sora Launders. Oh, interesting. Seem like the Twitter, yeah, that I would have, but that's in fact my Twitter. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm loving this bracket. It's a real digestible format. Uh, mm-hmm. Makes it a lot easier to follow, and I think easier to schedule for the teams. So I think they appreciate that as well. Yeah, I think that was uh, definitely a big reason behind it. Also, it puts a lot of importance on all the matches that are online. So, you know, it's less likely for any external pressures to maybe uh, say, hey, you know, why don't you uh, maybe not play your best this game? Which yeah. has obviously led to some sticky situations and, and drama within the scene. But with that, guys, we're going to be out. Thanks for watching. North America will continue, uh, I think, starting back up on Sunday or Monday since, of course, that uh, finished with Optic winning and being the first team in um, into the land from North America. So thanks for watching, and peace out.